Hello primary 4, how are you today? I'm Ms. Sarah, I'm teaching science and today we're going to talk about plant adaptation. As you can see here, this is the parts of the plant primary 4. This is the part of the plant. Start with root, super, and then we have stem. And this is called leaf for one and leaves for many. So leaves, after stem we have leaves. And then we have flower and last part is the fruit. So the parts of any plant start with roots, stem, leaves, flower, and fruit. Now we're going to talk about one of the most important places in South Africa that's called Savanna Forest. This is Savanna Forest, the primary forest. This is Savanna Forest. Savanna Forest is found in a place that's called South Africa. South Africa. It's a grassland habitat. Grassland habitat. Grassland means that it has grasses all over the place. It has grasses all over the place. And we said that habitat means home. Habitat means home. So, savanna forest is a grassland habitat with mild temperature. So, the temperature of savanna forest is mild. Is mild. Super. It characterizes primary four with something called drought condition. What is the meaning of drought condition? That means there is no water. There is no water for about half of the year. So about half of the year, there is no water in savanna forest. And we call this condition with drought condition. And we call the season that there is no water about half of the year, dry season. So savanna forest has dry season in which there is no water for half of the year. And we call this condition drought condition. If you look to this picture primary four you can find many trees right the name of these trees are acacia trees acacia trees so in savanna forest you can find acacia tree so savanna forest is found in super south africa and it's a grassland habitat with mild temperature super and it's characterized with drought condition super and what is the meaning of drought condition primary four it means there is no water for about half of the year, which is called dry season. Super. And we can find in savanna forest, which type of trees? Acacia tree. Super. Clap for yourself. A primary forest or super. This is the acacia tree primary forest. This is the acacia tree. We said that acacia tree is found in savanna forest. Super. And savanna forest is found in South Africa. Super. So the habitat or the home of acacia tree is savanna forest that's found in South Africa. Acacia tree is a living organism, right? So like any living organism, it has structural adaptation and behavioral adaptation. When I talked about structural adaptation, so I talked about the structure of the acacia tree. An acacia tree structure, like any plant, has roots, stem or trunk for trees, and leaves, and flowers, and fruit, right? So we're going to talk about, at first, the root. It has very long roots, primary four. Acacia tree has very long roots, which is called tab root tab root so the root of acacia tree are very long and called tab root called tab root the second part of any plant as a tree is the trunk it has very long trunk it has very long trunk why to make it unreachable for animals to make it unreachable for animals except the giraffe why except the giraffe primary four as giraffe has long neck it has long neck so it's a trunk is very long that is unreachable for animals except the giraffe super after trunk we have leaves super the leaves of the acacia tree are grow on the top of acacia tree as you can see primary four and it has tiny leaves it has tiny leaves why it has tiny leaves to hold water while soaking in the sunlight to hold water while soaking in the sunlight what is the meaning of soaking primary four soaking that means that the leaves of acacia tree is standing up on the sunlight for long time so it has tiny leaves that growing on the top of acacia tree too hold water while soaking in the sunlight 
Also, the leaves of acacia tree has spines. Has spines. Why the leaves of acacia tree have spines? Primary for to protect itself from hungry animals. The leaves of acacia tree have spines to protect itself from hungry animal like giraffe. So this is the structural adaptation of acacia tree. So the name of the acacia tree roots is tab root. It's very long tab root. And the trunk is very long to make it unreachable for animal except giraffe. And it has tiny leaves growing on the top to hold water while soaking in the sunlight. And also the leaves have spines to protect itself from hungry animals. Now we're going to talk about the behavioral adaptation primary four for acacia tree. Acacia tree is a very tricky tree primary four. Why? As it produces poison that has bad taste has bad taste why it has bad taste poison to protect its leaves to protect its leaves from the hungry animals also it send smelly message to other nerpy acacia tree in the wind to produce the same poison so if we have two acacia tree here one here and one there and this is a giraffe eating from this acacia tree it will produce this poison that has bad taste to protect its leaves from the hungry giraffe so the hungry giraffe will go to another acacia tree but we said that acacia tree is a very tricky tree so it will send a smelly message through the wind to the other nearby acacia tree to produce the same poison this is the behavioral adaptation of acacia tree. So when I say, what is the behavioral adaptation of acacia tree? You will say that it produces poison that has bad taste to protect its leaves. And also it sends smelly messages to the other nerpy acacia tree in when to produce the same poison. Now we're going to talk about another place that's called Amazon Rainforest Primary 4. This is the Amazon Rainforest. Amazon rainforest is located or found in a place called Brazil. So Amazon rainforest is found in Brazil. Amazon rainforest has something called soggy soil. What is the meaning of soggy soil? That means the soil of Amazon rainforest has lots of water, has lots of water. Why the soil of Amazon rainforest has lots of water or called soggy soil as it rains most of the years it rains most of the year so we call it amazon rain forest amazon rain forest and the meaning of forest that mean it has lots of trees lots of trees so amazon rain forest has soggy soil as a trainee most of the year also primary for it has a strong wind it has strong wind also, the tree of Amazon rainforest primary four grow up to 70 meters tall. Can you imagine its tree grow up to 70 meters tall? We can find type of tree that's called K-book tree. K-book tree. So you can find in Amazon rainforest type of tree that's called K-book tree that emerge high above other tree. So K-book tree cover the other plants or the other tree and grow above them that make it impossible to reach the sunlight for the other trees so kebuk tree is tall tree so in amazon rainforest you can find the soggy soil and strong wind and tall trees that reach up to 70 meter tall like kebuk tree now we're going to talk about the kebuk tree primary four this is the kebuk tree Kebuk tree habitat or home in super Amazon rainforest that's found in Brazil. Super. Kebuk tree like acacia tree like any living organism has a structural adaptation and behavioral adaptation. And when I say structural adaptation, so I talk about the structure of the kebuk tree. And when I say kebuk tree, it's a plant. So the structure of any plant start with roots super then trunk as a tree then leaves and flower and fruit so the first part is the roots roots this is the roots of kebuk tree primary four we call the roots of kebuk tree patris root patris root k 
can you see that the root of the kibuk tree is wide right and large large root and wide so it stays firmly rooted and strong roots primary four which is called patris root also the roots of kibuk tree grow up high on its trunk grow up high on its trunk the patris root is very strong large roots and wide primary four that grow up high on its trunk so we talked about the roots and we talked about the trunk now we're going to talk about the leaves of kibuk tree the shape of the leaves of kibuk tree is like the hand primary four so it has hand shaped leaves hand shaped leaves with narrow parts with narrow parts to allow when to move gently through the leaves of the kibuk tree leaves without tearing them up or without cutting them up so it has hand shaped leaves with narrow parts with narrow parts through the leaves to allow the wind to move gently through them without tearing or cutting them up this is the structural adaptation of kibuk tree so the structural adaptation of kibuk tree is that it stays firmly rooted due to wide large root which is called patris root and the root or the patris root grow high up on its trunk and it has hand shaped leaves with narrow parts to allow the wind to move gently through them without tearing them up now we're going to talk about the behavioral adaptation of kibuk tree primary four we said that acacia tree produce poison that tastes bad right and send smelly message to the nearby acacia tree to produce the same poison but kibuk tree send delicious messages to invite the pets as you can see in the picture so kibuk tree invites pets to visit its delicious flowers as you can see in the picture through sending delicious messages in the wind also the seed of kibuk tree primary four are carried through the wind across the forest this is the yellow fluffy seed of kibuk tree so kibuk tree has fluffy yellow seeds that carried through the wind across the forest so this is the behavioral adaptation of kibuk tree which are that kibuk tree invites pets to visit its delicious flowers through sending delicious messages in the wind and also the wind carries the kibuk fluffy yellow seed fluffy yellow seed across the forest so this is acacia tree and this is kibuk tree primary four this was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.